ambition? Hey, hey, funeral leave, funeral leave. I think y'all need this. I need funeral leave, bro. No, they say, no, you need funeral leave. Like, when you, like, during the week, and you party during the week, funeral leave. I was 19 when I found out about that. I was 19, I had a job, and my, one of my coworkers was there, like, what happened? Oh, man, somebody passed away, they gave him three days off. I'm like, man, he should have missed out all this overtime. He said, no, no, he still gets paid for it. I'm like, what do you mean? He's like, it's called funeral leave. When somebody dies, they let you off for three days, and they pay you for it. I was like, oh. <laughs> Bro, my grandma was dying like every three, four months she was dying. And she would always die on the Wednesday. Oh so I could be off the whole weekend. I'd be off Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, and Monday. And then after like, after like my sixth time doing that, they, my boss didn't believe me. My boss was like, hey Juan, uh, how many grandmas you got? I was like, I only got like five left. And in my mind, I was thinking, bro, I'll save it in for the playoffs. <laughs> Just in case. And then my boss was like, look, man, we, we don't believe you no more, man. You got lost six grandmas in one year. <laughs> like, you know what? Uh, take a picture of her. I'm like, of my grandma? He's like, yeah. I'm like, you know what? I, I'll bring your obituary. He goes, no, no, no. Take a picture of your grandma. I'm like, of my dead grandma? He's like, yeah. And I was like, okay. And, you know, she wasn't dead. And it was a good job. I didn't want to lose my job. So I had to sneak in the room at night when she's sleeping. Put her hands like her, put rosaries and cat noise and all that stuff. Put a little snow and the puddle boy. In the morning, in the morning, I would be eating breakfast and my grandma would come to the kitchen and be like, Mijo, Mijo, I, I think I'm dying. I'm like, what do you mean, Grandma? I don't know at night. I, I see flashes, me. Oh, flashes. I wake up on both of these events and I got my hands like this. Like, you want to go to the doctor, Grandma? Well, I'm off this weekend. So she was 90, you know, something already, and man, thank y'all for not awing that. I'm glad I told you her age, because you're not supposed to awe a 90 year old. I tell people sometimes, no, she was 90. Oh, like, no. When you're 90, you're finished. Come on. When you're 90, yeah, you're finished. If you're 90 and you're making payments on anything other than medication, <laughs> you fucked up when you were 65, 66 years old. Got a reverse mortgage or something. Oh, when you're 90, you ain't doing nothing but messing up your whole family's life around you. That's it. My grandma had us rotating around her like, man. And my grandma knew. My grandma knew it was time to go. She would tell me, she'd be like, Mijo, I'm tired. Yeah, Mijo. I'm so tired. And I would look at her like, you retired too, grandma? I'm tired of taking you to the clinic, H-E-B, to the clinic, see me there. Like, I'm, I'm losing a perfectly good sick day right now for you. <laughs> and then you know what? What's funny when when she passed away? Like I live with my grandma. I have the house with you. Know, I, I took care of my grandma. And when she passed away, a lot of the family that I've never seen before shows up, and they came and told us like, you know, she's not gonna make it. She's not gonna suffer. She's, she's you know, she's gravely ill. She's gonna go home. And the family starts crying and everything. And, like, fuckers, y'all were never there before. And now y'all popping up? All that fake crying and stuff. So I left. I left and, and my phone is vibrating. And I go to my grandma's house. I go to her house because my grandma smoked weed. Right? So I went to her house and she had two little joints left in the little half noise box with it by the bed. So I'm in the living room. I'm smoking my little joint. And my phone is going crazy, but I don't want to talk to nobody. And about one in the morning, I hear some stuff outside the porch. And I'm kind of buzzing, I'm like, oh, wait a minute, I should go check, and then I heard something fall, I'm like, ooh, I better not. <laughs> I forgot, I thought I was swiped there for a minute, I missed it. White people, what's going on? Hey! That's a white thing. They see this like, hey, hey, somebody outside, y'all. Anyway, I heard something, I did not move, I stayed right there on the couch, smoking my little joint, and a 
front door flies open and it's my grandma. And I'm high and I'm looking at her and I'm thinking, you know, I've seen the movie Ghost. And she's not saying nothing, she's just looking at me and sweating. And I'm like, I ain't no ghost sweat, right? And then the underarms go hit me like, Ooh. I didn't know I never smoked a ghost before. So, so I grabbed the penny, you know, like in ghost, and I threw the penny like that, and it didn't go through her. It went, it fell down. So I'm looking at the joint going like, damn, Grandma, like, this is so good. And then my grandma finally said something after about a minute. She was like, hey, and I was like, What's up, Grandma? I don't know, you tell me! I'm like, what are you doing? I don't know, you tell me, I've been calling you all night, you don't answer? I'm like, Grandma, they told us you died. What? They told us you died at the hospital. They said you were dead. I didn't die, that old lady next to me died. I've been calling everybody, nobody picks up their phone. I'm like, Grandma, your body's scaring the shit out of everybody. Did they think And the guys that want to give me rides and everything. I'm like, man, you bullshit, Grandma. Chiflada. Yeah. My grandma was nice and it's all conceited. They get hungry. Come on, I got a Mali. Get in, I got a Mali. My name is Rosa, I'm not Mali. <laughs>